Hi, my name is Eric, and I'm a scientist here at Ward Central Science. I'm here today to present a quick tutorial on the GeoSafari Motorized Solar System and Planetarium. Uh, I've taken the liberty of taking our pieces out of the box already, and this is what you're going to see after you do unpacking. You're going to have a main unit here with your sun dome. You'll have nine of these black wires that are twist tied together. You'll have a bag with your planetary star dome. You'll have a bag just with Jupiter, and you'll have a bag with the rest of your remaining planets, along with the spare light bulb. So while assembling, first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert 4C batteries into the bottom of the main sun dome unit. And you're going to do this with either a small flat blade or Phillips head screwdriver. You just need to remove the battery cap right here and insert your batteries. After that, we're going to check to make sure the light bulb has been properly installed into the sun dome. And if not, we will do so. And I'll also show you real quick how to do it in case you need to replace the, the bulb with the replacement somewhere down the line. So we remove the sun dome, and we can see the light bulb. In this case, it is. However, if we need to change it, all we need to do is twist this plastic clockwise. And be careful, because the light bulb will pop right out. The plastic comes right off, and we see we have our light bulb. It's important to make sure you don't touch the actual glass light bulb because the oils on your fingers, fingers will cause it to deteriorate a little faster. To place the light bulb back, take this plastic tip, put it right on top, and you're going to turn counterclockwise until it clicks into place. At that point, the sun dome we put back on. Now we're ready to start attaching the planets to the main unit. And for that, you're going to start with the smallest of these black metal rods, and you're going to insert the planet into the small end, and the flat end will then insert into our main unit. And we'll do it from top down. So the first planet we're going to put in is Mercury. Each planet has a symbol on it, which correlates with the name. That can be found on page four of your instruction manual. The planetary feature chart, as it's called. Each planet has a symbol on it. Each symbol corresponds to the name of the planet. So you can look at the symbol on the planet, you can match it up to its actual name, and that will help you place the planets in order as you're installing the solar system. So we can see that the Mercury symbol actually looks very similar to the female symbol we use with two small dashes on top. So we're going to look for that planet. This is a fun task you can have the students do as well. They'll start to learn the symbols for the planets and it helps with name recognition. Now that we've inserted our four C batteries and we've placed our light bulb inside the sun dome, we can start to attach the planets to the actual main. So we're going to take the smallest of the nine wire rods and we're going to find the planet that corresponds. So the first planet being Mercury, we'll look for the symbol of Mercury using page four of our instructions, which looks very similar to the female symbol with a couple of dashes on the top. You're going to place that into the small end of the wire rod and then place the flat end of the wire rod right into the sun, the first ring of the main unit, like so. Now we'll continue down the line. We use Venus. Venus looks very much like the symbol we use for female. Place that into the iron rod. And the flat end, again, goes on the second ring on the sun dome. And we'll continue this process with the other eight planets. Earth, Mars, going on the fourth ring. Place our sun dome back on top. Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus. and Neptune.
this point, you can discuss whether you would like to include Pluto as a dwarf planet or not. In this case, we will for the model. It's important to show at this time that the planets are not perfectly to scale. The sun would actually be around 108 times larger than the Earth, and that's obviously not the case right here. Pluto, for instance, if this was to scale model, would need to be 18 miles from this location. At this point, a fun activity you can do with the glass is you can actually set the planets to their spatial orientation in time for this month, next month. You can do it in years in the past, years in the future. And for that, you'll refer to page two of your instructions. It's the section, where are the planets now? Both month and day are shown in the bottom key here to show where the planets should be. Each planet will have its own degree. So you can find it, find the degree the planet should be at, and continue down the next degree and the next until all the planets are orientated exactly where they are according to this chart. It's a fun activity you can do when you click it on a motorized you can see how the planets interact with one another. Another fun thing you can do is you can insert the star dome on top. Easily done, you just remove the sun piece and place on the star dome. Now when you illuminate the star dome, the constellations will be thrown onto the walls and ceilings of the room. It's best to do in a room that is dimly lit with the shades drawn. Um, you might have to play around a little bit how close the star dome is to the walls and the ceilings to get the optimal distance. Typically the further away it is from the walls and ceilings, the larger the stars and the names will seem to appear. So there's all sorts of other fun ideas you can use. Please refer to the instructions. They're very detailed and should help you along this experience as we go. So thank you very much. Hope this helps.